In 2012, we posted another solid performance against the backdrop of increasingly challenging economic conditions. Although growth was hampered by the weak economic environment, in particular in Europe, which accounts for about half of our sales, we continued to post strong returns and generate positive cash flows. Revenues grew by 5%, with the majority of this growth coming in the first half of the year. Thereafter, demand slowed. The European economy was in recession for most of the year, and although the US market proved somewhat more resilient, confidence remained fragile. In Asia, although demand remained strong relative to other parts of the world, the rates of growth came down quite significantly compared to previous years, notably in China. Recurring earnings were 11% lower than in 2011, and despite another outstanding performance from the recycling business and a good showing from Catalysis, the lower levels of economic activity had an inevitable impact on the overall performance. Revenues and margin were most affected in the performance materials and energy materials business groups. The reduced overall levels of profitability can also be partly attributed to the Vision 2015 investments. R&D spending was significantly higher and increased depreciation costs were a direct result of the higher levels of capital spending in recent years. Umicore's returns showed strong resilience with return on capital employed coming in at close to 17%. Our balance sheet is stronger than ever and this reinforces our ability to keep funding growth plans against an economic backdrop where uncertainty continues to prevail. As I mentioned, we stepped up our research and development efforts in 2012 and we now have a well-stocked innovation pipeline to deliver future growth as part of our Vision 2015 strategy and beyond. Capital expenditure also increased significantly. We announced a number of new investments during the course of 2012, covering all business groups and a number of different markets. We also entered into joint venture agreements in automotive catalysis and rechargeable battery materials, which should reinforce both our technology portfolio and market positions. We continued to make good progress towards ambitious environmental and social goals. After a period of stagnation, I was really pleased to see an improvement in safety performance, with the total number of accidents down year on year. This is a sign that a new safety culture is starting to take root at Umicore. The challenge in the coming years will be to foster this culture and improve our ability to learn from the many examples of safety excellence that exist throughout the company. We laid further foundations for improvements in emission reductions, both for CO2 and metals. We also deployed projects to further our ambitions to be a preferred employer, promote sustainability in the supply chain, and develop a full understanding of the life cycle of our products. It has been especially gratifying for Umicore to receive external recognition for these efforts, and this is a spur for us to further intensify our efforts. Compared to the economic crisis of four years ago, which saw industrial demand drop like a stone, today's economic downturn is not as brutal. It has gradually built up over a longer period of time. It has intensified and abated in different regions at different times. Its effects are sharp though, and in a way more difficult to mitigate. Although I'm more convinced than ever about the longer term growth prospects of Umicore, Balancing our drive for future growth with the current economic conditions will be a considerable challenge. We will work in a pragmatic and targeted way in 2013 to bring fixed costs and working capital down in order to return all businesses to sustainable levels of profitability. We will also continue to be selective in our pursuit of investment projects. Although visibility remains very limited in most sectors, it is clear that 2013 will be a challenging year for industry. While Umicore has resisted recent economic crisis rather well, we recognize that we're not immune from a downturn. We will strive to improve our performance from one economic cycle to the next. We are energized by the task ahead of us, 
and I'm confident that Yumiko will once again turn these challenges into opportunities.